and hello again internet. Here we are for the second part of Hexen, my Hexen run. Let's listen to that voice here. My servants can smell your blood, human. Yeah, of course they can. Alright, now this is the second hub. We finished through the first one yesterday. I don't remember how many there are. Hopefully not too many. We do have other games to get to. Um, now, I don't know this hub as well as the other first one either. I have beaten this game with at least a couple times. I don't remember exactly how many, because I've played this quite a bit. But it was usually that first hub that I played all the time. So, we're in a new area. Hey, found a helmet. Nice. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Again, this is the original version of Hexen. It is the 1.1 patch. And I am using just the keyboard for controls. Going old school here. And again, I will state, the game is available on Steam. I do highly recommend picking it up. And if you do, check out one of the engine ports that's available. Z-Doom or Doomsday. I think Z-Doom actually plays better. Although Zoom, or excuse me. Doomsday has more effects on it. I want to hit him, not the tree. There we go. I'm not sure how loud this game is for you. I did listen to my... to yesterday's. I didn't do a very good job. Sorry about all the breathing sounds I have. I do have allergies and it has me stuffed up like crazy because it's spring. There we go. Oopsie. I've turned the volume up on the game a little bit. Hopefully you can hear it better. And hopefully that won't get me in trouble. I want to keep the volume at a decent level at least. Okay. Can I get through this door? There we go. Come on. Come on. Ah, serpents. Don't like these. Ah, can't wait for an actual ranged weapon in this. As of right now, all I have are the flechettes. Oh, don't be... This place just looks like trouble. Can I get through here anywhere? Nope. There we go, there's something. A lot of reused textures from the first hub. Whoa, back now, get some health. And that just turned on everything back there. That's not good. What jump is this button? There we go. Alrighty. Of course that's not a door. Why would it be? Still things getting teleported. Ow! What hit me? Oh, is there a serpent up there? Yeah, there's a serpent up there. Okay. Ah, that's closed. Whoa, was this all a big trap? Oh, okay. This is probably going to be where the end is. As you saw those... Ah. Wrong way. Those symbols on the wall probably mean I have to finish those levels to get in. So, ow, let's get out of here.
Okay, so that's gonna be the end of this hub. There are boss fights in this game. I don't think there was one in the last hub. But this game does have a few. Ooh, let's try to be a little bit more careful around here. Uh, another reason why I want a ranged freaking weapon. Ah! Terribly. Precision controls around here, not all that great. I mean, it's not the worst controls I've ever had on a game, but... There. See, I did have to come up here, because I have to press that. Now i got to try to get back. There we go. Now they brought friends. Lots of friends. Back here. There you go. No. I hope that's all of them. Or most of them, at least. Let's see what's behind the portal. somewhere on this stage has the next weapon. There's only four weapons per character. The last one having to be built out of pieces. Aha! Missed. And I'm playing the fighter, for those who didn't see the first time. Who has both a melee weapon in his first, and this is a, the second weapon. This one, at least, when you have blue mana, you see it has that lightning charge, which makes it stronger. It still does work without it, which is kind of a nice touch. Oh, boy, this is the level with the spikes. Yeah, those spikes are kind of an insta-gib. Don't want to get impaled on those. Yes, I'm going to save a lot, because it's an old-school shooter. That's how you got through them, sometimes. I'm not even sure what happens if you die in this game, really. Because I don't know if it restarts at the beginning with nothing, like Doom does. But with all the various items that I've been collecting, I kind of don't want that to happen. Try to keep my eye on the ground here. So I don't want to come up against one of those things. Get skewered. Other than that, I don't really know where I'm going. All I know is that if there's things to kill, I probably haven't been there before. <clears throat> Not the best strategy, but it's at least a strategy. Oops. I gotta find a way up there, so that I can kill them with my melee. And these, looks like a way up. Come on, come on. There 
There we go. Don't know what the whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know what the crater might does. But the main thing up there is I got rid of those serpents. Now, I'm not going to be looking for any bonus levels. I'm looking to beat this game. Just happened to me that last time I found the bonus level before I hit the switch that I needed. And again, that level or that hub being what it was, I'd been there plenty of times before. So kind of knew my way around it enough to get the bonus without any real issues. And I am recording a bit earlier today than usual. Those things are a bit of a pain because they keep hiding. And about the best way to kill them is to get right up in their face, let them pop up, and swing your axe at them. Or whatever other melee weapon you happen to have. Because oftentimes they'll dart, they'll dart back under the water so quickly that you can't shoot them anyway. By the time your projectile gets there, they're gone. Alright, see, I'm out of mana now. But the, the axe still works. It just takes a little bit longer to kill anything with it. Ah, the Porkalator. That is a device that turns your enemies into pigs. And there's actually a spot in the 1.0 version of the game, again, this has been patched to 1.1, where you can get hit with a Porkalator and shortcut part of a level. Like skipping a key entirely but that was patched out in 1.1. Oh man, I'm using up all kinds of health here. Fortunately, these purple potions are fairly common. You saw how many I had left over to collect elsewhere. Come on, get down, down, down. There we go. <coughs> I don't think I've been up here yet. Of course not, I need a swamp key. And that is one nice thing about this game also, is you don't have to keep hunting the same three key cards over and over. There are actually several different keys. I don't know if there's a place where you can see what keys you have. That just shows you my inventory, and it does include quest items in that inventory, so kind of like Shadowcaster, you're not always sure what the item you picked up is, unless you know what they do. And I've got a couple down there that I don't remember what they do. However, this game has a map. Huh. Well, that looked like a secret area, but I guess there was nothing there to get through. Now, Shadowcaster had a map also, System Shock had a map. Not exactly a unique concept. I don't remember if Wolfenstein had one, but stuff like Blake Stone did. Okay, is this the one that goes this way? Alright. I don't want to go down there because that is a pit to death. Ah! No. 
that's part of the CD thing. If you hit the tilde button accidentally, which the map is tab, so it's right next to it. Hitting tilde and then choosing the track numbers will, well, let you play that particular track of the audio CD. And no, the CD is not required to play the game, so you can put your own music in. Yes. No. <clears throat> and I'm repeating a lot of info from yesterday, I'm sure. Ah, Axe is out of ammo again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are part of the reason why my throat's usually covered in phlegm also. That was a mental picture that you totally needed to hear, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I saw that spike. Another axe. I just... Apparently if I had lost this one or somehow managed to get this far without having picked it up, there was still one available. Come on, pop up, say hi. Come on, I want to say hi. Hello. There you are. Jump. Aha! Close, but no cigar. Which way have I gone? Uh, looks like that's a new direction. Oh yeah, that's the lava. There we go. Save it again. Okay, I found a horn key. And given that... Ow! Oh! Hey. Wow, I actually managed to get out of the lava. Given that this level needed the swamp key, I'm guessing this is going to be one of those HUDs where the keys are on different levels than the doors. Is there a better way out of there? Not that I see. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out, out how to get back to the HUD. I don't know where it was. I don't really want to wander around here with the map open. Because as you see, those spikes will probably get me if I'm not paying attention. And I'm not sure how to move the map without moving myself. There might be a way, I just don't remember it right now. Now the tilting does bring up an interesting thing. That's not exactly a cheat code, but it's kind of used as one. And yeah, this is from the era of various cheat codes. Although these games, in particular, had a lot of fun with them. If you pushed a code for the wrong game, they would have sometimes the opposite effect, sometimes just kill you outright. So trying to put a Doom code such as IDDQD into Heretic tended to be a bad idea. Likewise, using any of the Heretic codes, which I don't remember offhand, I'm not using codes anyway. Well, that would give you trouble in this game. Where am I going? There we go. I think this is the exit. Yep. Aha. Where? where? Flying, fiery rat. All right. Let's... Okay. More crystals, more health. With how much green man is showing up here, I'm gonna assume. Oh no, nope, already been that way. I'm going to assume there's green mana somewhere. Or, I mean, a gr the. 
third weapon, I guess, somewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, no, that's terrible. Ah, there it is. There's the weapon. I just gotta manage to get to it now. I'm a warrior. What do you expect? Axes, hammers, swords. We're just straight up punching things. That's my shtick. If you want magic staffs, you gotta go with the mage. Tell me there's something I can get up here on. Yes! Okay. Ah, there we go. Axe throws out copies of itself if you have green mana. If you don't, it's just a hammer again. There's that one's gone. It's gone. Ah, I fell. Now, we'll be spending most of this game, if something's in melee range... Oh, I gotta jump those. If something's in melee range, I will spend most of this game using the axe. Come on. There you go. Did I get you? Gotcha. Oop, don't want to get hit by those. Yeah, you're gonna shoot me. I don't care. And I've been poisoned. Ah! Oh ho ho! That is not cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad enough I gotta go through this gauntlet. Dark Servant. That's a fun one. Uh, it, throws it throws out a Minotaur to attack things for you. Minotaur was actually a boss in, I think, the Chapter 1 boss from Heretic. Did that silence this place yet? No, nope. sub's still attacking. Did that work, though? Um, that's still closed off down there, so I have no idea what that switch did. It did something. I pulled the switch. Okay, I see it. The tower in the middle has stairs up now. Get up there. There, that shut out everything off. Yeah, nice to have trees that you can break. I do believe the hammer is actually more powerful as a melee weapon as well when it has mana. But given that it's my only ranged weapon at the moment, I'm going to try to save it. 
when I get the fourth weapon, I believe that takes both types of mana, so using up all the blue mana is still bad. But that's for later. out here. Like the fog effect, I'm not sure if that was in Heretic. I know Doom doesn't really have a fog effect, it just has darkness. I found out there was some other Doom games made, or Doom engine games made later on for the Game Boy Advance, one of which, Midway, part of their Cruisin' series, made... Oh, whoa, hello! Made Cruisin' Velocity for Game Boy Advance using the Doom Engine. I've also been told that it is pretty bad. Come on, where are you? There you go. Ah, that's what's jerking me around. The floor is going up and down. Okay, is there something I need in here? Okay, that's not the answer of how to get in. Ah, there we go. do for me? Open this door. Pretty sure I don't want to use the hammer on these guys, because of the way the shield comes up would probably reflect it back at me. Gotta be a way into there. Let me get you. I'll just shoot you through the window, I guess. And as you see, the floors can kind of move you around a bit, too. So a little bit of conveyor belt action on the floors. Well, I'm not going to go through that... yet. There we go. I was wondering where you guys were. Is that all of them? Nope, one more. Now there's still one more. No, that was the last of them. Okay. Oh, let's open up now that I can get up and down there. As has the entrance. Levels kind of open up a bit as you advance through it and backtrack. But there's a castle here I can't seem to do anything with yet. So maybe it is time to go back through that portal. Don't fall off. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we'll go try the portal now. My curiosity has been satisfied. Oh, 
Well then. Curiosity not satisfied. I saw you. Whoa! There was more than one of him. or anything that I missed somewhere. One of those are still spawning or teleporting in. Or if I just missed them when I was here last time. Can be hard to tell. seems kind of unnecessarily pointless to open a switch, or to hit a switch to open a door next to the switch. Or not directly next to the switch, but in the next room. There we go. Oh, okay. So what did that do? Ah. Switches to open switches to open switches. It makes perfect sense. I would design my castle like that. side in case you get locked in, or if you're playing multiplayer. These maps don't seem particularly good for deathmatch PvP style, style stuff. Was that one? Was there any way to open this side? Well, it's a Doom Engine game. Eh, I guess they both did the same thing. The reason I keep mentioning the switches in Doom Engine games, the way Doom worked is it really doesn't have a vertical height or a vertical limit. So if there was a switch embedded in the floor that happens to pop up when you hit another switch or pass a trigger, if you know it's there, you can click it, even through the floor. Okay, it's the castle key. I have the horn key. Is there a way to jump this? First off, let's kill that thing. does a fair amount of damage. There we go. Also seem to have a bit of AoE to it. Hello there, Shadow. Watching a playthrough of Hexen right now. There we go. Castle key. That'll get me back in the... where I just was. Uh, nope, that wasn't... yeah, that was. No, it's the cave key. This is the castle key. Another icon of the defender. 
Is that it? Oh, cool. You break the armor. Aha! What did that do? Open this door. Huzzah! Out of blue mana again. My axe is just an axe. Let's switch to the hammer. Okay. It's probably a switch. Oh, no. Oh. There's an empty fireplace. That'll work. Oh, there's a switch in one. Oh, you actually don't use any mana if you use this as a melee weapon. That's handy. Ah! Fall down. Alrighty. There's the bone key. So let's use that. The horn key, I guess. What will this lead me to? The hammer is going to be my weapon of choice if I can melee for free. Ow. Okay. One sixth. Oh, right, there's two switches on every stage. I could cross here, but I don't want to yet. So two switches on every stage, that tells me that every key is going to have to be used on both levels. Or both of the opposite levels. There's a specific order I have to do these in. But I want to find the swamp next because I have the other two keys. There we go. Hello? What have we here? I'm getting wounded, so. Another one of those sitting there? No. Oh, ow. There's the swamp key. Woo! That was a painful area. Well, that's good then. But that means there was two keys on this level, so what the heck. Unless the castle key didn't actually give me anything. Ah! Danger of using the keyboard on these old games. Alt enter. I just did again. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through this exit. Oh yeah, this hammer is a lot stronger than even the axe for melee. At least the axe without mana. Come on, how did I get up there again? There we go. Jump. Jump! 
Now where have I ended up? Oh, that just took me straight back to the cave area. Okay. Now I have to find my way back to where the swamp key was. Preferably without getting impaled on a spike. That looks better. There, there we go. So what does that switch do for me? Lit this place up. It looks like that was it. Oh, there we go. DOS auto, Doom Engine auto aim. So yeah, it'll hit something that's not directly in front of you when it feels like it. Come on. I thought that would kill it. Okay, let's see what's in this swamp castle then. I wonder if there's anything I have to do with those statues or if it's just decoration. Statues both look the same. Usually, if there's something to do with one of them, one of them will look different. Have a part missing. Okay, well, if this doesn't take me to a new area, then it'll still have been pointless. Ah, there's a switch behind it. So that's one third of the puzzle done. Okay, back to this level, but it didn't give me anything new back there. Oops, on this side. Well, let's see if I can find the third level. or some indication of where I'm supposed to be going next. Let's see where I started from. Mana, that was it. just those two levels unlocked right now. Well, okay. What's over here, then? 
Or is this one I've already done also? Oh yeah, okay. Right, and this other one kind of hooked around to it, gotcha. Okay, where's that castle I was at? So one horn key, one swamp key. I'll need to use the horn key and the swamp key somewhere else. And is that the it's not the castle key, is it? It's gotta be a third level. I don't think it's just these two levels back and forth. Because that really wouldn't make any sense to me. Cave key, that's what I'm missing. Take a look at this map here. Oh, well, that, that shows us the inventory and keys. Stuff's still spawning. Try going back around. No, not there. Here? Okay, there's this part that hasn't opened yet. Without some way to open it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot down to that thing. There we go. Now that was just a tease. I gotta be able to get down there somewhere. Oh, I can get down there on the path that's blocked. to scroll the map without just running through it. And again, we've got this nice new palace that just opened up, but I didn't see anything on it. Key or anything here. All that was was this switch. So that was the swamp key for this level. Is there a place to use the castle or cave key? Well, there is another do door. But I don't have the cave key. It's just a little 
opening. That takes me back out to the hub. Oh, looks like I might have to fall down. Nope, not fall. I have to get to that from another way. Well, let's see what happens. I think it just puts me back at the beginning of the stage. I don't have to be as cautious with the saving. I'm still going to, because I don't like to die. But, let's go back up here. Now, is it from here that I find that area? I know I could probably fly there with the item. Cave key. That's what opened the castle key. Let's open that. There's something there. I just don't know if I can actually get to it. Yeah. Try again. Can fly there if I... No! I don't have the flying thing anymore. That might have been just for that one level. Well, nuts! Okay, so is there some other way to get to it? I'm assuming I have to go around the other side, that's a fall. I either come at that from the other side, or there's a platform that opens up, or something. Times trying, but at this point, I think that's an exercise in futility. Does that do something to help? Not that I see. Okay, that just falls back down there and goes around. So what on earth am I missing? Well, let's hope this isn't another video of my getting stuck. It does honestly appear that there has to be another level. Somewhere where the cave key exists. 
Either that or there's gotta be a way to open that section down there. So... That castle won't open until I've got the other two, or the other four, switches. One of which is going to require a cave key. <laughs> Doesn't seem to go way down there. This just leads to the other level. I see why I'm confused. There, there's got to be something I'm missing. Okay, so there's something inside this rock. How do I get to it? To it. There's not even a place for me to click anything here. And it looks like there's a portal inside that rock, so I have to figure out how to open that rock up. That would probably be where the next level is. So I know of two pathways, but they're both behind closed doors. to a ledge somewhere? I don't see any. Map doesn't show any. No, that's an overhang, not an underhang. This one doesn't have anything around it, does it? Okay, so I appear to be lost again. beaten this game before, but it was quite a while ago, and I can't remember all the games that I've played. It's part of the point of not playing it for a while. So you got it fresh again. And get frustrated, because you don't know what the heck you're doing. Alright. Well, this is an exercise in futility. Let's leave this zone. Probably a way under there somewhere. But again, no idea how. Oh, back to the cave area.
Where was that place? Back there. Gotcha. This was the secret area with the porkulator. Yes, it was. If I go any further over there, I drop to my death. Is around here. Could be there's something inside one of these caves that I just haven't gotten to yet. Ow! And I could get sandwiched between it. Let's go back to that level. Might as well try. Check just to make sure there's nothing inside this castle here to open it up either. Oh, okay, there is something. Well, that might have opened something, and it might not have. But that is a switch I had not hit before. Nothing. Nothing on that end. all of those opened. Oh, something went down here. Ow. That's why using the hammer on these centaurs is painful. Flicked it back and you are gone. Oh! Ah! <sighs> Don't tell me I'm in the same place. Yeah, I am. Okay, well, at least I got progress this time. And the CD music has gotten a lot louder. I'm gonna turn it down a smidge. Did get louder. I have no idea why it was up that loud. I had turned that down before, but it seems like something reset my settings. Okay, but at least progress is getting made again. Okay. 
downstairs this time. that because I don't want to lose that thing. I don't know if this is random or what the deal is. Okay. Seems like that's finally stopped moving around. I think it's just the best thing to do is to sit back out here and watch it go. Which also silences everything in the castle back there. Okay. Where is it? Ah! Okay. Can I get back out now? Yes. Now, how do I find anything in here? Ah, I see a portal. Ah, okay, I can get back in here now. Hello? I went through the portal. Guess I didn't go through the portal. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I knew there'd be a third level somewhere. Haha, <laughs> hello. What is this? As of right now, that is nothing. I'm not gonna jump through that portal right now, because I haven't explored this map. healthy. Oh, I don't think I want to go through there right now either. So nice to finally have a ranged weapon. So what, if anything, did this do for me? 
I don't see any keys or switches. Better not take me back in front of that one portal. Took me back in front of the one portal. Why? of them. Okay. Armor! Huzzah. Come on. I should have killed it. Nope. Missed it. How many of these are there? Oh, get the key, get the key. Ha ha ha! Progress! Cave keys. Now really, who'd put a key in a cave like this? Come on! It's like they don't want this stuff to be found. What goes to the minds of the people building this kind of design? I don't mean the level editors. I mean, this is based on a world here. And were those monsters in the cave to begin with? Or did they have to import them to the cave? I mean, is that one of the things when you become an evil mastermind, you have to have the monster relocation program? Three, halfway done. Are these monsters bred somewhere? Do you have monster breeders? Servicing all of your evil Dark Lord needs? In theory, there should be another switch on this level. There's going to be two switches each level, which is another reason why I don't want to just run off right away. Okay, that one comes down from above, clearly. Switch back to the axe for a while. I say as I enter a room like that. Okay. Is there any actual way around here? It does not appear so. Sometimes just wiggling back and forth is enough to get past those things. It's like they can only hit what's directly in front of them or something. That was the wrong button. And yet I'm okay with that, because I got tons of flechettes. I don't reuse them. Alright. No, I don't think that's where I want to go yet. I want to go back down here. Oh, no, I have to come at that one from another direction, don't I? How about that direction? No. This was a one way. And I went the wrong way. No, 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 no. 
Yeah! I fell for it. Probably on just enough of a delay for that, too. For the no no. Just when you think it's safe, that's when it collapses on you. No, I think it's just an automatic crusher. I don't think there's any way to actually get that helmet. Aha. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back around and try that again. There's what I want to do. Okay, so I've now finished off this level. With a horn key and a swamp key switch. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, I have a new key now. So... Up, up, up. What is this? Is this the thing I was trying to jump to before and couldn't make it? Kind of looks that way. Yes, it is. There's no switch or anything in here yet. Looks like a pit. And that one's been solved. One more to go. Making good time now. Just take me back to the other one. Where am I? No, that takes me back here. It's okay. Still okay, I can get out of here. Or wait, can I? <clears throat> yeah. And the swamp was the harder one to get to, so. Should be golden now. Assuming I can find the switch that lets that one door down. is other direction. This way somewhere. <sighs> Back and around. Nope, that's not the one I want. Although that does <coughs> shows there's a pathway there, kind of.
Okay. Should be able to get in here somehow. It's still blocked. Do I have to open that on one of the other levels? It's possible. Oh, no. Okay, I have to use the teleporter to get to it from another level. Gotcha. Well, let's do this then. Turn around, get out. I don't want to try to stumble my way back to it. Then we'll go back to the new cave level. Other side. No, that was... So that was the right side. And then somewhere in here is a doorway that leads to that other level. There we go. Oops, just ran right past it, didn't I? There. What? No! Why am I here? So there may be a switch I have to hit around there. Except that I already hit the only switch around there. rather jaunty music for this kind of environment. Doesn't seem to fit the tone. Or the rest of the game, for that matter. I guess technically I never did go down that. Yeah, I'm playing more by map now than visual. Oh, I guess that's all it does. Yeah. Unless there's like a key or something. Nope. No, I guess that just shows... Looks like there's a door there, right there. Behind the waterfall. Well, there is something kind of across there, but that's where I've already been. It's this way. But no, that's what it is. Just more waterfall. Okay. that trap back up. Probably not. There's like no switch by the flechettes, is there? I don't see one. This has that teleporter, but I don't remember why. Or I guess there wasn't really a reason other than this is how you get back out of this trap. The map doesn't show anything special here. something behind this? Mm -hmm. Well, that would have been convenient. No, I really 
really don't see anything here. There's no real maps to or switches that I haven't hit yet. Which it looks like there should be. So I'm just gonna go back through here. And see if maybe there is another door that needs a switch. is this way. No, that's just where I just came from. So there's that. Is there any type of door or switch nearby that will help drop that wall? <sighs> Silly obtuse games. the only other option right now since the only thing I can see is that it might have to spawn in there so maybe I have to get to it from the swamp castle level thing I word much goodly Okay, so how do I get to the other level? Well, get to it from here. Let's go back. Check that place that I just was before. door. I did not want to go down there yet. This just goes back to where I was anyway. There's still a couple areas here I haven't been to. That's a cave that drops. That's a cave that drops. So I haven't been there because there's nothing to be there. Can't go down them.
this doesn't take me there. Probably missing something just su super obvious, and I'm just blanking on it. But I just see nothing that suggests how to open that door. Bats fly out of there either. Looks like the stairs down, that's probably just river. So close to finishing this hub, there's only one more switch left, and I cannot for the life of me find it. Well, I know where it is, I just can't get into it. So it's on the other map. I need the cave key, but I have not seen anywhere to put the cave key. Probably supposed to go down these, not up them, yeah. Like that's a way out of there, not a way in. So all I'm doing is running around, wasting mana, wasting health for nothing.
And as you can see, there's still that last <laughs> one. Which means I need to hit the cave switch. I've seen the cave switch! Just don't know how to get to it. No way through there. supposed to get into this. This this looks like a glitched area more than a secret. Like enemies pop up there. But at least I found that now. Found out what that little alcove in the map is for. I wish I were better at figuring these puzzles out. It'd be less boring to watch me try to beat these games, wouldn't it? <clears throat> but I'm guessing... I think that's kind of part of the point. These games weren't ob always the easiest to figure out. There were some things that were just so obscure, so well hidden, that they don't really make any sense. I mean, what is the point of having this wall here that's this hard to find? Is there any clue as to how to unlock it? I have not seen any cave doors. I've tried going around the level. You know, en entering the level from a different level. And that didn't do it either. You'd figure maybe the door could open like that one does. But it doesn't seem to. So here I am now, in an entirely different part of the map. There. There we go. You see what I mean, though? What possible sense does that make for how to get here? What kind of clue tells you, go all the way to a different part of the map, and there, only there, will you find where to put the key in. Oh. One of these days, I will play a game that doesn't get me completely stuck like this. But at least I figured this one out. System Shock, I'm looking at you. That's all six. Okay. How the heck do I get back out of here? question. Okie dokie. And then up through here. 
No, that's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Really? I'm going to have this much trouble getting back out? There we go. Now I can take on that castle. Now that the six are open. Yeah, you just heard the door open there. Ah, <laughs> wouldn't be easy, why would it? Okay, mana, 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 health. Let's see what's through here. I suppose asking for a straight shot to the boss would have been a bit much. This, as I say, is why I'm using my axe primarily. Because if I need range, I want to make sure I have all the green mana I can use for it. For Ettons and such, I don't mind getting in their face. That stuff up there, I need range to get out of here. Oh, even worse. And now I'm locked in. to run over the right stuff. I mean, it's... Hey! Another segment of the big weapon. So I guess I did need to come in this room. But picking up objects seems to be really peculiar, or, or particular about how you do it. Well, that's been open, so how do I get out? Oh. Duh, there's a switch right in front of the door. I'm not using the hammer on these guys, they'll just reflect it back and kill me. Because it wastes mana every time you hit them when the shield's up. Anything else around behind me? Nope. I'll take these guys on a choke point. Much better than letting them surround me. That's closed still. That's closed. That's opened up, though. Oh, well, I guess that's just there. One on each s side? No. <clears throat> And those blocks there tell me that's probably a secret area. That door won't open yet.
And see the way the compass kind of spins around to tell you which direction to go next. I like that. That was not what I wanted to do. I seeing those far ones actually hitting the ground. They might be close enough that I can just run to them and across. Ah! Not like that. No. I mean, they are but I'm timing badly. There we go. Let's stick to that. Okay. Now that portal still has not opened yet. make it to the secret level, oh darn, I kind of don't want to anyway, as I'd mentioned earlier. I just want to finish this game. That was wrong. I'm betting these things were visible somewhere. Sounds like a boss. Oh, that floor symbol was that symbol was available somewhere. That was the one that was on the floor. Ow! Ow! That's the boss. That's the boss. Okay. Yeah, see there's the symbol. And then you sit one of those others to teleport back. Now, what about this side? No, not that side. Ow. anywhere that I haven't picked up. Regular health. Nice small health file. There we go. Okie dokie. Here we go.
There, there you are. Oh, you are going to be a pain to hit. Especially since you leave a trail on the ground. Ow. Man, what I wouldn't give for one of the seeking weapons, except the only ones that do that are the endgame ones. Oh, hey, there's something that will let me fly. Okie dokie. Just want to clear the minions out of the way. In theory, they might still keep respawning. Alright. I know there's more of those to grab. There we go. There. Should be less deadly without his friends. Where is he? There he is. Since this one didn't. Since this one did not keep through the levels last time, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Fly around with the dragon. There we go. Okay, how do I... Where are you? There you are. Ah, oh, this is hard to hit. Ow! It's painful, too. Very painful. Oh, he got me. Ah, what hit me that time? Oh, jeez! He's already hitting me! That'll do this. Fly around behind him? I think that's it. He's not turning around. That sounded like I got him. Did I get him? Did I get him? Yes, I did. Okay, let's refill as much as I can before going to the next one. But that should do it for this hub. Woohoo! And so, once again, you gotta watch me stumble around looking for answers. Surely the most entertaining thing on the internet. Okay. Just to make entirely sure, I'll screw this up. Your mind still your mind is still reeling from your encounter within the Hippostle. You stagger toward what you hope is a way out. Things seem to move faster and faster. Your vision blurs and begins to fade. As the world collapses around you. The brightness of a teleportal engulfs you. A flash of light, and then you climb warily to your feet. You stand atop a high tower, and from below come the screams of the damned. You step forward, and instantly the sound of demonic chanting chills your blood. By all the gods of death, 
what place have you come to? By all the gods of pain, how will you ever find your way out? that again tomorrow as I take on this hub, but at least more progress is made, even if it's still a little bit slower than I'd like. Not sure if this hub coming up is the last one, or if there's one more behind it. I know there's a boss level behind it, but I don't know how big the hub is. Yeah, we're getting... This game is not particularly big, but that's okay. They make up for it by making us run back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and trying to figure out what the hell to do next. So, that'll be it for today, Internet. I shall see you tomorrow as we try to either finish just this hub or the game. Until then, take care.